right now there are 18 active volcanoes that have erupted 39 times already this year. Uh, and this eruption is uh, by a long shot not even the largest of them. It's the volcano nobody wants to try to pronounce. It's called Ayafetleyoko. There are two things happening in Iceland that are very significant for the formation of big volcanoes there. Uh, one is there's a plate boundary and on this map, uh, this map is a map of the age of the ocean crust and in red I've shown here the youngest ocean crust. This is where two tectonic plates, the European plate and the North American plate, are splitting apart and creating new ocean floor. That plate boundary is exposed here in Iceland uh, because of something called a hot spot. Uh, I, underneath Iceland is a hot spot of very hot mantle rock welling up from very deep within the earth, uh, extremely deep within the earth, and uh, adding a bit to this volcanism that's already occurring on the ocean floor. And that's why we have larger volcanoes, more productive volcanoes, and uh, volcanoes that go off with a, a bigger bang than these mid-ocean ridge volcanoes that I mostly study. They're small, they, uh, they've got a mile of water on top of them, and uh, they never bothered anybody. As eruptions go, this is a pretty small event, actually. Uh, the volcano right here is one of the smaller volcanoes on Iceland. And uh, compared to big volcanoes, like in the Cascades, it's, it's tiny. And it's just a matter of which way the wind is blowing. The wind happened to be blowing from, uh, from the northwest, blowing the ash down towards Europe. A given eruption may only last a few days. As in the case of this one, start, starting out with a gas eruption with uh, gas and ash, and ending up with a more lava-rich eruption when the lava flows out. And that usually marks the end of a, of a particular eruption. But there's nothing to say that it won't start erupting gas again and ash tomorrow uh, and, and start the whole process over again.